Hi, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. We sell dental practices. So today's uh, uh, YouTube video is when should a buyer start searching alternate banks when purchasing a dental office? We'll get into that. So we are now 28 states we're involved with, and we are with 10 employees, including two CPA accountants, and we're nationwide. Our available hours are 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. East Coast time. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. Our website is dentalpracticeguide.com. Nation or nationwide dental practice brokers.com. So look us up. We have a lot of valuable information in there. We're trying to add content all the time. We just redid the website and I think it's easier to uh, navigate. So please let me know. Also, if you, well, this information we're giving you is all for entertainment purposes. Our opinion, it's not legal advice. Also, we have. Uh, if you want to work with the DSO and you're like doing over 1.6 or 7 million um, and you have over six ops, plenty of buyers still out there. We know all the DSOs. We are not engaged with them. We do work with them. We call them in on a, you know, on a deal that has that DSO parameter, but we're not uh, employed by them, work for them or anything. However, they will pay under most circumstances our commission. So there's no commission for the buyer. So it doesn't cost you anything. And then also, when you work with us, uh, based on your criteria, if you're buying a DSO, we can often get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing. So call us, and we'll give you more details about that. So when should a buyer start searching alternate banks? Because most buyers know one or two banks, and they'll usually go with one bank to get, pre to get approved for the deal. Um, usually they... Uh, we got a letter of intent. They're usually pre-approved by this one bank, and uh, we go forward from there. But all pre-approval means there's no guarantee. They're just simply saying, okay, you look like a good candidate. We think we can make this happen, but it's dependent on the deal. So, excuse me, I'm at intersection. So, the situation now, we have a buyer that was pre-approved by another bank. And the bank looks like they're not sure if they can put this uh, deal together. They're starting to get a little... You know, the minute you hear something like that, well, they're not sure, they're taking their time. The minute, immediately go get another bank and hopefully you're buying, you're getting alternate banks involved. Um, alternate banks are banks that have more flexibility. You really call them uh, money brokers because uh, they're not technically a bank. But they'll go directly to a bank. You may even get turned down by one certain bank and they're able to get your loan through that bank because they know how to get their arms around the deal. We know some of these bankers have been doing it for 30 years. They can understand the deal sometimes better than the banker can and they'll re represent the offer to the bank and get it approved. So they have great capabilities. But the moment your bank starts getting the least bit slow, you have to start looking for alternate banks. I frankly tell everybody they should look for two banks at the same time anyway. But a lot of them don't want to spend the time or the paperwork and they just stick with one bank. But it is as soon as they get shaky, start looking for other banks. But keep your mind open to alternate banks. These are money lenders, money brokers that will help you and a bit more unconventional and not necessarily higher rates at all. Uh, they've just been in the business longer and they know how to get their arms around everything. So that's something for you to know. Uh, check these banks. And if it gets shaky, start checking other banks. I think when you look at a deal, you should have a number of banks lined up already. So let me know. Bye.